for a dollar? Yes. What's up guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Skylar. I like to do makeup videos. I do a few, or I say I do a few vlogs. I want to do a few vlogs. My last video was actually a vlog of Valentine's Day. You should go check that one out. But today I'm going to be doing a full face of Miss A. So for those of you who don't know what Miss A is, it's basically a makeup store. But the majority of everything in the store is a dollar. So the only things that aren't a dollar are things like the brush sets, the big eyeshadow palettes. Majority of their stuff is only a dollar. First, I'm gonna show you guys like the tools that I got, because I did get a few brush sets and I got a few sponges. This right here is the first brush set that I got. This is, um, it has like face brushes in it. So this is what it looks like. It unfolds, which is actually really cute and I like that it's white. And then whenever you open it, it has all of these. They do come with the plastic wrapped around the top. They have a stippling brush for foundation. They have an angled brush. These are extremely soft. Oh my goodness. I honestly had way lower expectations for these, but wow. So this is what I mean by the how it's shaped. Like I've been seeing this shape around a lot. There's this one, which has like a point, like it goes up like this. And then there's this one. It's like angled upward, but it's also at a point. That's how the majority of them are shaped. So this is the all over eye brush set, but they unbutton on the side, which is super, super cute. And then it opens. The quality is actually really good. Like it feels like sturdy. These are the brushes that it comes with. It comes with quite a few blending brushes, which is really, really good. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the sponges that I got. I got two different sponges. I've been using the regular beauty sponge by Miss A for a while. Um, I actually surprisingly prefer that one over like the Morphe sponge or the beauty blender. The beauty blender one I feel like is too soft like all it does is pick up the product and it doesn't like give me any kind of coverage it's just like it's just taking it all away and moving it around where it's not supposed to be. The Morphe one is really really good I love it. I just feel like with the Miss A one I get a little bit more coverage it blends in a lot better and it's a lot more um, natural looking. So instead of getting the regular sponge I decided to get their new sponge this one is called the Wonder Blender. It says A Plus Edition, and this is actually $1.88. But I wanted to try this sponge because this is like their upgraded version. So I wanted to see if this one was just as good as the other one that I normally use, like on a, literally on a daily basis. The other sponge that I got was the Wonder Bake. But this one is specifically for baking. So me personally, I bake every single time I do my makeup because I do have extremely oily skin. Yeah, I, I was like, I gotta try it because usually I use the same sponge, but I wanted to like see if this actually makes a difference If because I usually use a wet sponge. So maybe using a dry sponge will like decrease the oils. I have no idea. We're just gonna try it out and see what happens. For eyebrows, I got the Sculpting Brow Pencil by AOA Studio. So I did end up finding this one. I got the shade Medium Brown. Okay, so this one looks exactly like the Brow Definer by Anastasia. So it has the thick end over here, and then it has the spoolie on the other side. I hate waxy eyebrow pencils, so let's hope this isn't waxy, but let's see. Ooh, it's actually creamy. Oh my god, I love this. It's a good color too. Wow. For a dollar? Yes. Okay, so this product is most definitely a yes for me. Next, I'm going to do primer. Okay, so now for primer, I did get two different kinds. So this one right here is a pore filling primer and this one is a mattifying primer. I'm a little nervous because on the pore filling one, it has like glitter inside of it. I don't know why and I don't know if that's gonna show up on my skin, but let's find out. Oh, this feels like just gel. This does not feel, I was expecting like a silicone-y feel, 
it does come out like a jelly and then whenever you start rubbing it it turns into like liquid like water i mean i kind of see it blurring but also guys next week be ready because like this video this is the video i was super excited about but next week i'm gonna be talking about all of this stuff because this has been a journey for me and i want you guys to learn from me and I want you guys to understand why my skin looks the way that it does here is the next primer I'm gonna do the mattifying one and I'm pretty much just gonna put it exactly where I just put the other one this one feels more like a blurring one than the other one does it feels thicker oh and this one smells good well I don't know if y'all would think it smells good but I think it smells good okay so there's those I can't really give my thoughts yet because I don't know, but they're not getting tacky. Like, I'm waiting for them to get tacky, and they're not, so... In two ways. Okay, so as far as foundation goes, which is the next step in my routine, I got three different kinds. So, well, two different kinds, three different colors. I just look. Okay, so I got this foundation. I got two different shades. So I got ivory, and I got light beige. So these were the two lightest ones that had a yellow undertone, which a lot of y'all are probably like, Skylar, why are you getting a yellow undertone? You're white. I know that, but I tan extremely easy and I do have a neutral, more so yellow undertone than I do a pink undertone. Whenever I get pink undertone foundations, I look crazy. Okay, I look insane. So I got the most yellow ones I could see and <sighs> They didn't really have like a guide or testers or nothing and I literally color match people for a living like that is that's what I do and no these were not good these were the two lightest shades and I'm kind of nervous about them I'm I might have to drag it like down to my ankles so that way it all matches but we'll see what happens the next thing that I got is actually a BB cream me personally I hate BB creams just because they have like no coverage this is like blemish control and i know i have acne but girl i like the full coverage like cover those things not let them breathe like cover them so but i did get it anyways for the sake of this video to try it out um i got the color fair for this one so i'm kind of gonna color match myself in these three and see like what matches the best first i think i'm gonna try the bb cream just because i feel like it's gonna match me the best oh she Thick. but that actually feels really nice I should I might use that one hmm. girl for a dollar okay I'm gonna put this one right next to it I think this one is supposed to be a little more full coverage oh no 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 no, no. this is watery and pink y'all know how I feel about pink this one's not that bad but I think I like the consistency of the BB cream better just because for I have no idea like just by looking at them I would assume that the amuse one had better coverage but it actually is a lot thinner okay so I'm gonna do this half with the sponge oh no okay well and I already put the BB cream on the other side I should have done the other foundation over there I'm disappointed okay layer number two okay this is like not covering anything and it's kind of making me mad because i have acne and i don't want you guys to see all that let's hope the brush covers more this ain't doing nothing for me i'm so upset i really had good expectations for this bb cream i'm a little sad i'm gonna try some light beige and let's see what happens because it comes out of the bottle thicker but whenever i rub it in mind you guys i am going over the bb cream with this so oh there's my coverage yeah that this foundation is covering way better than the other one we're just gonna put this one everywhere because i'm super disappointed in that other one next okay now time for concealer i did get three different colors so I got a white because these looked way too dark and I was like, well, maybe I can mix them together and make it lighter. Also, I've heard really good things about using the white concealer for cut creases. So I kind of want to try that out. I don't know if it's going to happen today, but I kind of want to try it. And then there's these two. I got the shade Light Ivory and Pure Beige. These were the lightest colors I could find in the store. 
I have not looked online because I'm a terrible person and I don't know if this is the lightest that they sell but ivory light ivory is usually like the lightest this is the only thing that I'm not too fond of is they don't have like testers so you kind of just have to guess which that's I mean usually like drugstore products have to do the same thing but they usually have like a better selection of colors um this one they're they were pretty limited like they only had like a little box that had them i'm probably gonna end up mixing the white and the light ivory even though it's kind of pink just because the other one i feel like is gonna be way too dark i mean it goes on pretty smooth yeah there's like no coverage it's literally just blending away donde estas mi concealer is that proper spanish did i say that right i know i sounded white when i did it but is that right i look freaking crazy look bags are enhanced i'm gonna put just a tad i wonder if this is gonna blend out or if it's gonna make me look crazy yeah i'm not not too not too fond of the concealers we're just gonna put those down okay now we're gonna try out the baking sponge so this is how the baking sponge looks i got a pressed powder and translucent and i also got a loose setting powder in translucent as well but they're so about this one they have different kinds of translucent so they had like um a light trans or light setting powder a matte one i think they had like a satin or a dewy one um but obviously like i've said I have extremely oily skin, so I did get the matte one. So I'm gonna go in with a brush for this. They don't really have like a powder brush, so I'm just gonna use this one, which I actually think is a foundation brush. But I gotta use what I got, okay? Dude, my skin looks like it did whenever I first started wearing makeup. Like I look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I swear I do. Okay, so that is the half with the pressed. Now, I'm gonna go in with the loose one and I'm gonna use the sponge. And I'm doing this with a dry sponge, by the way, because I don't think you're supposed to get it wet. Also, most likely, both of these are gonna get flashback because the first ingredient in both of them is talc. Okay, so, so far, this powder, like, it's setting my makeup because, I mean, it's a powder, but it's not, like, blurring anything. It's not, like, it's nothing spectacular. I mean, if you just need a setting powder, that's a dollar go for it but this isn't like gonna be like my go-to you know next is bronzer this part I'm kind of excited about so I could only find one bronzer in that entire store I could only find one bronzer like I miss a like I couldn't even find their bronzer like I even asked someone and they're like oh it's on the other side and I walked over there and I didn't find anything so I don't know if they were sold out or if they're online only or what, but this is the bronzer that I found. This is not the Miss A brand. This is the San Santé, Santi, San. I don't know how to say that, but yeah, this. So with this, I actually don't have a bronzer brush. Like I do, but it's not like I typically use like this brush for my bronzer. If you can't tell. That actually really needs to be clean. I shouldn't have showed y'all that, but whatever. And they gave me, or didn't give me, but I have this kind of brush. So this one, it just is a little bit more intense. Oh, I mean, oh, okay, oh. Let's dab her off. Cause, uh, holy cow. Oh my God, what just happened? So she's pigmented, so be careful. You gotta really really work her in this is no effortless blending next I'm going to do blush um, I don't have like a brush that would be good for blush I mean I have like this one but it's not really like like I'm gonna try to use it for blush but I don't know how well it's gonna work I personally like fluffy brushes but I don't know. Okay, so for blush, I got the Lumi Radiant Blush, and it's called Ravish. It's a little shimmery, but that's okay. Whatever. And I'm scared this one's gonna be as pigmented as that bronzer. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, she pigmented. Let's 
yeah i'm regretting this already um i promise you guys i know how to do makeup it's just i was trying to use the brushes that they offer instead of using my brushes because this right here is the morphe the jaclyn hill jh04 and this is the best blush brush i have ever used in my whole life and i'm obsessed with it but i am gonna use it to diffuse this because i look like a freaking doll we're just gonna keep moving keep moving just forget it and move on next is highlight the one thing that i really want to be pigmented this is called the wonder baked highlight and it is in the shade fairy it's like a super icy color she is pigmented okay so this i'm actually kind of pleased with i'm not too mad at this part um it would look way better if this wasn't the look that i have like if i didn't have you know red cheeks this would be great but um the world hates me right now and the makeup community is like skylar just stop just give up and by the way i was looking for a setting spray and i could not find one i saw a a primer spray but i couldn't find a setting spray and then i forgot to go back and get the other spray so now for eyes i'm super excited so i got this palette this is the immersed palette it is super pretty it, i got the most colorful one that they have they have like um i think there's four big palettes i also did pick up a eyeshadow primer I hardly ever use eyeshadow primers just because I really like concealers, but we all saw how that went, so we ain't doing that today. But um, I did want to try this out because I know a lot of people do use the eyeshadow primers, um, and even though I'm personally not a big fan of them, I wanted to try it out for you guys. So, um, they also had different ones. This one is the original, but I think they had like a shimmer, and then they had like a nude one, but I just did the original because why not? look like it kind of has the consistency of the um urban decay one which i know is super super popular so okay so far i'm really liking this i know i haven't put any shadows on it yet but this literally feels just like the urban decay the primer potion and the original one as well it feels exactly the same first right, so i'm gonna go in with the e127 it's like this tall fluffy brush it's the biggest one that they have and I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do today. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can kind of see a little closer up what the shadows are going to look like. But I'm going in with this color right here. Wow, that's actually really pigmented. Okay, Miss A. There's definitely hidden hits and misses with this brand. Next, I'm going to go in with the brush e130 which is a little bit smaller of a blending brush i'm gonna go in with that turquoise okay next i'm gonna go in with this little bitty blending brush this one is the e132 and i'm gonna go in with this shade right there and i'm gonna put this on the outer v and i think i'm gonna try a cut crease today okay so i notice whenever i'm blending I can feel the the primer underneath and it's making it like tug my eye and it's a little harder to blend. I'm going to go back in with the big big one that has that purpley pink shade and blend out the edges because it's looking a little harsh. We're going to put big lashes and winged eyeliner so it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to clean off this packing brush. Um, that I did or that I used for my concealer earlier around my eyebrows and I'm gonna go in with the white concealer and I'm gonna do a half cut crease so now that the crease is halfway cut um, before I go into the other eye I'm gonna go ahead and go in with an eyeshadow okay I'm gonna go ahead and use my other packing brush from morphe because that one now has concealer and I don't feel like getting up to clean it but I think I'm gonna go in with this one it's kind of just like a silver like a silverish white so this is applying like super chunky um you have to like really rub it in or else it doesn't work yeah now i'm gonna blend out the outer corner and then i will do the other eye off camera and i will be right back 
So all I did was put the shadow on the lower lash line and then I blended out where the cut crease was. Now I'm going to add some winged eyeliner. I have the liquid eyeliner. It says that it's waterproof. Um, and it's not by the Miss A brand, it's by that Sansante or whatever brand that is. By that same brand. The packaging though feels extremely like cheap, which I mean it is a dollar, so I don't know what else I expect. But it's like, like hollow. I don't understand. Oh, it's one of those hard tips. It's not the tip that is like a brush, it's like the, the firm tip. Okay, I really like this eyeliner. This is what it looks like. The next thing I want to talk about, which is the whole reason why I wanted to make this video to begin with, is their new lashes. They came out with these new lashes, okay? There's way more, but this is all I can hold in my hand. These lashes are their new Pretty faux mink lashes. These are like their premium ones, so they're better quality than the other ones. These do retail for a dollar fifty-five, um, which is fifty-five cents more than all of their other lashes. But you get actual like mink lashes. Today, I think I'm actually gonna wear the Brianna's because they're just so pretty. Like they're wispy and they're long, and they look really, really good. <gasps> it even says white on it. I got a white mascara, guys. Okay, and I did get a lash glue by them. This is the dark one. It's just the, I think it's cream eyelash adhesive. It's this little guy right here. This is the only one I could find in there. These lashes are honestly so pretty. Like, just up close. Look at how, like, wispy they are. Wow, that glue actually stuck really good. Oh my god. Look at these lashes. Y'all, my skin is already so oily from this foundation. Dude, I'm honestly super impressed with these lashes and this lash glue. Like, I think that's my favorite part of this whole look so far. Which says a lot because I'm almost done. I only need one more step. Okay, and then the last two products that I have are a lip liner and a lip stick. So, I have the um, Wonder Lip Liner in the shade Blogger. This I've actually been using for a while, or I say a while, like a few weeks now. And it is my favorite lip liner. It is so creamy. I would compare it to the NYX Liquid Suede line. Those are also some of my favorite lip liners, but they both are super similar. They're really, really creamy. Now, I do have two lip products. So, I have... The liquid lip, which I bought whenever I bought the lip liner, and then I also have a lipstick, which I have not tried yet. So I'm gonna try this one first. The liquid lipstick, I like it. It's not something that would be like my top choice. It's not something that I would constantly keep in my purse. It is really, really pretty, but it is drying and sticky. This one is the lipstick in the shade Wanted. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this lipstick and then Depending on the color, since it's a little bit lighter, I might put the liquid lipstick over it. Oh, that is creamy. Formula, phenomenal. Color, no, no. See, this is such a pretty color. I love this liquid lipstick, but it's just not long wearing, but it is really, really pretty. So it's only a dollar, go try it. This one too, try it. Just don't get the shade wanted unless you're super pale. That completes the look. Overall, my favorite products were the eyebrow pencil, that one was very, very, very creamy. Um, I really like the eyeshadow palette. I would just use like a different base. The lashes are my absolute favorite. They have so many different styles, even more online. Um, these, I grabbed one of each that they had in store. So definitely go check them out. They are very, very good. Good quality and a great price. The foundation, it actually was not that bad. I'm not too mad at it. I just wouldn't use the primer. The primer, like I can still see my pores from this far from the mirror. Um, it did not mattify. So the primers are a no-go for me although the foundation was pretty good. The BB cream, not so much, but the actual foundation was pretty good. The makeup wipes, I actually like them. I used it on the back of my hand. I'm probably gonna use that to take my makeup off, but did 
take it off fairly well it didn't leave like a residue or anything so that's really good the brushes are really good I like the brushes a lot the blush and the highlight I really really like them the highlight one that one was fine but the blush I would definitely use like a fluffier brush like the one that I showed you guys earlier oh the liner I absolutely love the liquid eyeliner it is very very good I love the applicator um, I will definitely be reaching for that more and the bronzer is also really good it is super pigmented so just be aware of that if you guys do go purchase it it is very pigmented so overall miss a they did pretty good the only things that they weren't too great at was face like um primers and foundations and it really wasn't even that bad so um i just want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you follow me on all my social media it's always linked in the description and then like comment subscribe you know all of those but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next week Bye.